Hello, beautiful souls. I am Valeria Maritza at Healing Through You. I am an infinite being of light, and so are you. This is the May's free quantum energy healing that I do every single month, and this one is here for all the empaths there who are walking around like sponges, collecting energy from anyone, pretty much. So um, we're going to heal them, we're going to clear them so that you can get back to uh, feeling more of yourself, feeling grounded. I'm going to lower the music a little bit and we're going to get started. So I'm going to ask you first to just call back all parts of you. So calling back all parts of us, call back all parts of us to our body. And this is important because when we are in the dream world or when we're daydreaming and we're out of your body, we are not completely healing. We are living the three-dimensional healing uh, experience here on, on this three-dimensional life. And so it is in the body that the healing happens. So we need to call our energy back to our body so that we can integrate and heal on a deeper level. And now we're going to send a golden cord from our root chakra, which is the area right below where your um, legs meet all the way down, sending it down to Mother Earth, going through all the layers of the Earth. Getting to the center of the Earth and coiling itself up there, feeling really grounded and secure. And then bringing that energy all the way up. Connecting back with your root chakra. And then bringing that energy up through your center body. Exiting through your crown, the top of your head. Connecting with divine light. Seeing a huge round ball of light in front of your heart about two feet in front and another one right behind your heart space allowing this light to pull away from your body any impurities any old beliefs that are no longer serving you any love frequencies thoughts about not being good enough about not being deserving, about being anything less than pure magical love. Allow these beautiful bright lights to remove these thoughts, these ideas, these beliefs from your energetic body and your human body. Feeling yourself, feeling lighter and lighter. Sending these balls of light up towards the sun allowing them to merge with the sun where any impurities can be burned away and created back into pure love and light. Opening up your crown chakra. Imagine you have a daisy flower sitting on top of your head, opening all of its petals outwards towards the sun and allowing divine light to begin to enter your body through your crown. Seeing divine light, high frequency light, entering your head and filling up your head, your neck, trickling down your arms all the way down to the tips of your fingers Maybe down your chest area, your belly, your hips. Maybe down your legs, all the way down to your knees, your ankles, and the tips of your toes. Feeling this energy expanding within every DNA cell of your body. Filling up especially the places where we just remove the lower frequency Feeling those spaces first and filling them with love and light. And 
Now moving the energy with your breath, with each inhale, imagine the energy moving from the tips of your toes all the way up to the crown, the top of your head. And with each exhale, imagine that energy moving down your center all the way down to the tips of your toes. And you want to do this at your own pace. If you want to expand the timing of your breath so that you can see or feel that energy move all the way to your crown and all the way to your toes, do that. And adding another part to this, with the inhale, imagine the light moving up your back, your entire the back of your legs, your back, back of your head. And with the exhale, watch the energy move towards the floor or the ground through your front. And continue breathing up and letting go through the front. Adding one more element to this, as you inhale and you pull the energy up through your back, imagine this energy feeling cold all the way up to the top of your crown. And as you exhale through your front, imagine the energy feeling warm. Coming one with the energy flowing up and down your body organically at your own pace. Feeling the coldness move up your spine, feeling the warmth run down your belly. Following all of your guides, your angels, spirit guides, anyone that you trust and believe, allowing only the highest frequencies to come in to assist this healing for you and everyone who is here in the now, whether you're watching this live or in your my future, which is your present. Allowing only high frequencies to bathe you in their warmth of love and light for your highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to you. And imagine a beautiful crystal vase right in front of you. And this crystal vase is connected to your human body, the vessel in which your soul resides for this human experience. I want you to look at this crystal vase just floating right in front of your heart chakra, representing you, your body here on earth. I want you to watch it and admire it as you are in awe of the beauty, the reflection of light of each facet, the clarity, allowing yourself to really admire this face in front of you. Feeling so much love and admiration for it. And I begin to notice that there's a liquid, clear liquid, filling this up. And it's moving up from this bottom all the way to the top. And when it reaches the top, it begins to overflow and fall. And as this liquid is falling out, it 
it's a little bit harder to see the beauty of this vessel, of this space. But it's non-stop. Watch this water become a little murkier or denser, a little dirty, which makes it even harder to see the beauty of this vase. But allow it to flow. Allow it to keep on flowing out. These are your emotions. These are the emotions that you have gathered from your loved ones, from those that you care about, the ones that you took away because you wanted to help them feel better in any way, at any time. And you took them as your own, through your own healing abilities, your empathetic abilities from being that beautiful empath that you are. And now you're releasing them. You're allowing this liquid to go to the top and overflow and let go of those emotions, those feelings, those beliefs that you took from others. And now expanding, expanding the circle to anyone that you may have come across, co-workers, people, as you're walking through a mall or through a store or on the street, anyone that came past you that you notice and you took away their troubles. Consciously or unconsciously, you took them away, you made them yours, and now you're allowing them to flow out of you, to release them, to transmute them back into love. And anyone else, or any time, perhaps in your childhood, that comes up for you now, that felt like a trauma, that felt like heavy in your heart, anything that comes up for you in this moment is coming up for you to also release. Watching the water, watching this liquid overflow this beautiful crystal vase and come out. Allow it to flow and release out of your vessel as you're watching it overflowing out of this crystal vase. And now begin to see the water running clearer and clearer, like you saw at the beginning, as you're emptying Anything that's ready to be released right now, you're emptying it out and the water is becoming clearer. Now watch the trickle of this water become smaller and slow down. And notice the base is now full of crystal clear water. Now let's take this water in this space and change it. Begin to see this water become transform into beautiful butterflies. A blue butterfly coming out of the vase and flying out and a yellow one and an orange. And just watch all these butterflies come out of this water, just flying all around you, becoming free into nature. And as you watch all these butterflies come out and fly, you're noticing the water in the vase 
is lowering and lowering, becoming less and less until the very last drop gets transformed into a beautiful butterfly that flies away. And what you've done here is you have you have just transmuted all heavy energies, all energies that were weighing you down into love and beauty. Beauty that you can admire and love. Beauty that you're giving back to this planet, to this earth. Feeling free, feeling absolutely gorgeous within, clear. As you notice this crystal vase becomes sparkling sparkling with light and you get to see it for what it is and you get to admire it even more see now seems to be full of divine light as the sparkles are none none other than magical things you could not see in this physical life allowing yourself to see and become in awe of the beauty of this face. Begin to see your reflection of your face on the sides of this face. Begin to send love and awe to that reflection you see. to send love and acceptance to your heart, to your being. Even if for just one moment, love yourself completely. For you are magic. You are love. You are pure, infinite light. See yourself, your figure, standing inside this crystal vase. And as you touch the walls of the vase from the inside, you merge in with this crystal. You look at your hands in awe, your arms becoming crystals. You may even see some magical lines appear within your body, some angles, perhaps showing you the sacred geometry to which you belong to. Look down at your body and seeing it become this beautiful crystal full of divine light. Be in awe of who you are as you remember bringing yourself back to center you can place your hand or hands on your heart chakra or your heart space, feeling this crystalline magic being guarded within your heart, bringing this back to your three-dimensional reality now. And as you begin to bring awareness back to your extremities, your fingers, your toes, feeling the energy move up your legs and up your arms, feeling a tingling on your 
crown chakra at the top of your head. Feeling all the energies merging into your heart. Remembering who you are. Taking a deep breath in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Seeing a bubble of magical rainbow light come upon your body. A thin membrane of magical colors going around your entire body and closing below your feet. Holding on to this healing for as long as you need it to be. Thanking all of our guides, the angels, our higher self, for their assistance and companion in this healing. And so it is. Okay, guys, so I hope that this was really um, helpful for you. I hope that you're feeling lighter, that you're feeling more powerful, more like yourself because you've released a lot of stuff that wasn't yours. Um, one of the things that I wanted to let you know is when you are releasing energy that you took on you into your body that wasn't yours to take, um, what happens is that right now you might be feeling like tired or fatigued or, you know, like drink water, okay? drink some nice clean water uh, so that you can allow your body to rest. So that's number one. Number two, when you, um, you can re redo this same healing, uh, I recommend you doing it like once a week. If you're a healer, do it more often. If you have a session with somebody or you're helping someone and you feel down or you feel tired you want to redo the healing uh, because what it's doing is really removing any lower frequency energies from your body so that you can be more of you and not you with all of these other people's um, energies beliefs and thoughts within you which is what makes us feel heavy makes us feel uh, tired and also it can create some type of disease it could be like something as simple as like bloating or it could be like an autoimmune disease and if you're really holding on to a lot of energy from other people through the years then that's what gets uh, transmuted into your body as some type of disease because you're holding on all of this darkness all of this disease all of this part from different people so you want to remove it from your body it's really really important now the second thing that I wanted to uh, explain to you that is really important on this is that when you are moving the energy out of your body, you want to um, send it out of your body as love because your body is like, think of yourself as a filter, right? So like you have a pitcher of water with a filter, right? So the water goes in dirty water and the filter cleans it. And then you can drink water that it's clearer or cleaner, right? So think of yourself like that. You are the vessel and you are taking on all this energy from other people. Um, and then you want to clean it through your vessel, through your body, your energy. And then you're going to send it out as love and light. And this is why on that vessel that you saw, that crystal vase, um, you saw all the water that was flowing out and then you removed, you transmuted whatever was left of that water into beautiful butterflies going out into nature, right? And that is the uh, that is the cleansing. So you are taking whatever energy you took up, uh, upon your body and now you're sending it back out as love and light, as something beautiful, something that we can admire, something that can be of help to everyone else, right? So when you see a butterfly, right? Most people are like, oh, beautiful, right? And like your, your mood lifts right away. And you're thinking and feeling something that is higher frequency than whatever else that it is that you were feeling at the moment. So that is what you wanna do. You want to send that energy back out 
as a high frequency, love and light, you don't want to send it back out as the same thing. So as an example of like, what, what do I mean by that? Let's say you saw somebody who got hurt and you feel bad for them. And then you want to cleanse yourself and send that bad feeling out of you, but you're still feeling bad for that person. What you're doing is you're taking that darkness, you're going through your body and you're sending it back out as the same because now you're feeling badly for them, right? You don't want to do that. You want to take it in if you took it in and then you want to send it out as love and light. So you want to transmute that pain, that trauma, that hurt, whatever that is that you took upon your, your body and you want to send it back out as something better, something of higher frequency, love and light. That's what you want to do and that's how you use yourself as a cleansing um, filter, right? Otherwise, it will be like putting the dirty water in there and pouring dirty water back out, which doesn't really do much, right? You just, why would you do that? Why would you use your vessel, your abilities, your body, your um, ability to be able to do this healing if you're not going to remove that and help transmute that into something that is better, right? Okay, so I hope this helped you. Let me know uh, how it feels. You can put it in the comments, anything that came up for you. Oh, and one more thing. You know that part of the healing that came up that said, um, now bring up anything that may pop up for you. It could be like an experience that you had as a child or, or something that came up that was negative in your own life. Remember that part in the, um, in the healing? Okay, so each time that you do this healing, you, you may get a different thought, a different memory, a different idea because it's coming up for you to release from your body. If you get the same one again, the same exact that you got on today's um, healing, then that means that there's more on that same um, experience that still needs to clear. So it's like clearing it at a deeper level. So each time you do it, you're going to find that you're going to see either more of the same experience or you're going to see different experiences that are coming up for you to transmute and release from your body. So this is why this is going to be one of those healings that you're going to want to keep doing at least once a week um, or right after if, if you have any type of um, trauma or, or experience that is not very nice. Uh, you want to release that at that moment and use this so that um, you can remove it. Okay. All right. So let me know how that feels. Let me know uh, how you're going on. I'm not sure what the schedule will be for the summer because this is May and I do have different hours for the summer because my son is out, of, is out of school. So I do have different times. So if I do have another uh, quantum energy healing for the summer, um, I will let you guys know. Um, you can join my fa my Facebook group, um, Healing Through You. And I always post it there. And you can also follow me on TikTok or on Instagram. And sometimes I post it there as well. But most of the stuff happens in my Facebook group. So, okay, guys, I love you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.